Hello everybody, my name is Brian and welcome to a brand new video, episode 78 of my Iron Man Progress Adventure series on Old School RuneScape. And this, you'll be seeing one month's worth of progress, basically from the end of May to the end of June. And let's just say, a lot has happened. I had the title set up just perfectly for this video until one single moment happened near the end, which changed the dynamics of everything. So, hope you enjoy this video, and let's get on with it. So you can see 87 farming and 87 herb lore. Also these lovely potions, which will help me out for Zolra, which will be a future grind, but a near future grind. We are just slowly working towards this, but I want to get 2,000 total out of the way first. In that direction, you'll be finding out shortly, and I guess the thumbnail will help you out. Enjoy the rest. What I plan to do is, before I start actually working to get the supplies for Zora itself, I'll actually use the supplies and drop some as you get from Slayer Grind in general. And looking at this tab, I have quite a lot of healthy amount of gold ore, which will give me about 207,000 experience in smithing. So that will give me props, probably about 80, maybe 81 smithing, which would be very, very helpful to have. Um, so... I'm going to gain myself a couple of levels in smithing, use these gold ores as I do have the gold gauntlets on, um, as you can see here. Um, might as well, once before I change that to the cooking, because I've got quite a lot of sharks, quite a lot of, um, of those, because I can't pronounce them. And I've got some bits and pieces at the bottom here as well. Hopefully I'll get myself 91 cooking, and if any luck if I do, then I can cook my manta rose. And that probably be the best food I can have once I start working for Zora. So I did finish off all the potions that I did last night. And I've got myself over 450 prayer potions and over 200 super stores. Got a few job lots, like a lot of super energy potions. Running low on staminas. So I do plan to go back to agility soon. Would like to go for 80 agility. As I do have quite a lot of stuff to alk as well. So may as well just do that. So... Let's kick off with the smithing and uh, see where this takes us. Just want to basically use as much as possible. I do need to make the planks, but I am a lazy person um, and cannot really be bothered to do that. But I do have planks anyway, so I might use the planks later in the episode. And also I've got quite a lot of jewelry to make, but I've run out of cosmic runes to make the uh, ring of recoils. But uh, yeah, just flicking through here, I've got quite a few bits and pieces like the bones as well as insult heads on another tab that I would like to use up and hopefully get 80, maybe 81 prayer as well. So uh, getting the grinds up, which is nice, just getting levels. But there will be combat, don't worry. I would like to try and do the 1,000 barrows, so basically just 50 barrow chests uh, to hit the 1,000 mark. Uh, all I need is the varic skirt, which is probably the most important piece, and the Torg's plate body, and then I've completed the whole barrows. Um, so yeah, exciting times. As well as on this tab, we've got six totems to use up as well. Quite a lot of crystal keys as well. And uh, just in general, looks interesting. I think I'm going to save up the bones again until I get a nice sum and then use them all to get those free construction experiences. So on to the level grinds. And 79 smithing, unlocked Advent Warhammers and Shazen Supply Helms for unlocked. So just used up all my gold ores and uh, just basically missing out on 80 by about 17,781 experience, to be so precise. And uh, basically I'm just going to use up the ores I've got in here. I've got quite a few iron ores. Might use the steel ores and just basically in general... Just do it that way around. Could also finish up all the adamant and mithril, and can make myself more adamant darts. So it's quite easy to just get the level. It's just shame I couldn't get it. Time for a massive level on our character, as well as a grand total. Huzink, eighty smithing. At long, long last. We unlock Advent Battle Axes and we can make ourselves God Sword Blades if we ever try God Wars and probably die multiple times. And 1975 total. That is right. 
25 levels away till, well, 2,000 total that I've been working towards for a very long time. So, onwards to making more steel bars and cannonballs and etc. and etc. Yeah, you get the gist, etc. So, I was reasonably close to this level, so I might as well get it. Now there's 86 crafting. Nothing unlocked, so that's nice, but I'm not sure if that means if I get plus 5 boost in the jewellery. I could make something new. I have no idea. Didn't look. And no, I cannot. I need uh, 87 to unlock the night necklace. And 90 cooking at last achieved. So now I can cook dark crabs and fish and some sort of bats from raids, I guess. Onwards for more grinds and gains. And here we are, 91 cooking. Very, very nice. And we can now cook manta rays, which we have quite a few in the bank. Very happy with that. But we're going to carry on cooking these because we have quite a few to go through. 2,336 to be precise. And there's our manta rays. Also got the sharks to go through. And as well as quite a few jugs of wine to use up. I have been using them. I did make 700 jugs of wine. Gave me a nice little 140,000 experience drop. So I'm taking a break from cooking because I've been doing cooking for the past probably about four or five hours and uh, just got an invite from a friend of mine to go ahead and do some raids. I'm not exactly going to do it properly because pff, what PvP, PvM skills do I have? Um, very, very limited and very, very limited gear. But I guess we can try out our lovely Arams and Carols. And uh, just work it from there, really. So, uh, here we go. What are we going to get from our second over chests? Yay, Adam Oren. And here is another one completed. No items. Hey ho. We're going to get the third one Dynamite and Adam Oren. Lovely. Four. 85,000 points, not bad. We're back here cooking our lovely sharks after just a little practice or just a little taster of raids with some better people that know what they're doing. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing, but here is 92 cooking. Very nice. Another level added on to the total level. We are now at 1979 total. We're just going to finish off cooking. I uh, don't think I'm going to get anywhere near 93. But that does mean we are halfway to 99, which is pretty a long way off. So I'm going to finish my sharks, my manta rays, and then also finish off the jug of wines, and then move on to winter tot to finish off 99 fire making, which has been a, a sideline goal by myself, and uh, something I can look forward to ticking off the list. So let's get onwards and upwards. And here comes a level of agility. Agility, that I don't really enjoy too much, but 77 agility, I am working, oh, that's nice, working towards 80 very slowly, but I only do it whilst alking stuff because it's a bit more chill and relaxing, and plus I'm running quite low on stamina. And uh, now you'll probably see next up, uh, wind's tops, time to get ourselves, nice no fire making at long last, and also nice to fletching so we can use our dragon javelin supplies for the free experience and the extra bank space spot which is needed <laughs> and there we have it 99 fire making at last so this is where i'm going to finish off 612 kc at wintertot now to unopen all my crates that I've been saving between 98 and 99. So let's plonk those in there and uh, yeah, just quite a few to go through. Um, I won't show you because it's boring unless I get something truly astonishing like the pet. Probably not, but pff, you never know. Well, after this, uh, hopefully we'll get the supplies from this to get myself 92 fletching, 58k away. Uh, shame we didn't get it, but uh, 1981 total, 19 levels to go. And 92 fletching has been accomplished. Had to use some maple logs, but dragon javelins have now been unlocked. Alongside redwood shields. So, 
we shall bank those. We had 40,000 of these. Woohoo. And now to finally make ourselves the dragon javelins. Yes. And here it comes a rare room crafting my level. 69 room crafting. <clears throat> um gonna take a break from this because it's horrible. Uh very very horrible. So probably might do some diaries, not sure. I think about doing diaries, get to XP rewards, put it on the room crafting, because I hate room crafting. The danger here in the wilderness, but here is 79 prayer. Very nice. Nothing unlocked, but it's just nice to have higher prayer in general. Roll on the levels. And here comes a very big level. Yes, I have died multiple times. 80 prayer. Just look at it. Looks so sassy, doesn't it? 80 prayer means we can now wear these two necklaces, which we'll most likely never get in our lives. But uh, yeah, something I've uh, accomplished that I can probably not do. <laughs> but nice round number, 1985 total, 15 levels to go to that big 2000. Getting there slowly, getting there slowly. Um, still got about 100 bones to use up, so I'll use the main bones in my insoles heads. Um, hopefully... I will get 81. A bit rare me doing some construction training. That is right. 70 crafting. At long last, we can now build a dungeon. We can now do other bits and pieces that I can't be bothered to read. But perfect. That's our second to last skill. That's 70. Just need room crafting to get 70. Cannot be bothered. So we shall carry on with doing this. I'm um, going to basically use some, all my planks, I've already used all my normal planks, just using all my oaks, then teaks, then mahoganies. Hopefully I might get 73, 74 uh, construction, I'd be very happy if I get 75, um, but uh, that's what we're going to do. Um, so yeah, I'm just making larders because I can with my oak planks, and they are very quick to be fair. So talk, talk, go. So I'll be back with uh, 71, hopefully. And here comes level 71 construction. Zinc. Nice. And surprisingly, another level. 72 construction. I'm going to use up all my oak planks now. Can build a portal and nexus. Very nice. And all this gibberish stuff. A mounted uh, talisman, I can't say the name. <laughs> um, that's pretty cool. That's pretty nice. And 73 construction. What do we unlock? Advanced pet arena. With three lines. Interesting. Interesting. And 74 construction accomplished. Now make a maximum of 28 rooms, that's nice. Mahogany throne, da -da -da -da, dresser, might come in handy. And so forth. But that means 1990 total, 10 levels away to that round figure of 2000. Oh, yes. Getting there, getting there. And 75 construction just creeping in. Dungeon treasure room, no idea what that means. Spirit tree. Oh, right. Didn't realize I can have that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, just going to use the remaining uh, mahogany logs, and that also takes us to 1991 total. Nine more to go. What I'm presently doing is making a bunch of mahogany planks. I've got loads and loads of mahogany logs in the bank to use up. And I have calculated, yes, calculations once more. Um, I will get 95 for magic from this grind, which would be very nice. Nice round number as well. Also with the logs into planks, just mahogany only, will get me to 82 construction. 82 construction will get me the orn ornate pool. I think I'm right on that one. But the, uh, the best pool in the house. And then also I can just sort of bling the uh, the house a bit more so I can get myself the spirit tree 
fairy rings in my house. It'd be very nice. It'd be nice to actually do a proper do-over with the uh, old house as well. So I might as well put this to use. I don't have to use the 30,000 ticks, which I was dreading to use. Um, but I'm just happy to do this. A uh, bit of free. Well, not really free. It's quite an expensive experience for magic. But um, it's nice and AFKable. And it will get me very, very close to 2,000 total. I think I'll be literally one level away. Because one level added to this. At site 72 to 82 be uh, 7 levels plus 1, 8 levels, pretty much me to 1999 total once we've done this grind. I keep chopping and changing different grinds, but because of this makes sense, it's AFKable. Um, basically getting quite nice experience, plus I don't have to use the ticks, I'm just happy to use just the mahogany's only, and it's a very quick experience. Then I'm just happy to do that way around. It's going to take a while to get 82, but I'm just over the moon that I know I got 82 banked in just mahogany blocks. So that's what we're going to do next, and then after that, we'll just make it up. Uh, I got 88 herb blocks banked as well, so I can get 2k total. And I also got 81 prayers quite close. Probably should do a bit of Slayer. I do plan to resume Slayer. Would be nice to work on 99 Slayer passively, very, very passively. It's not going to be like a hard grind at it, but uh, once I feel ready to do Zora, then I will do Zora. But at present time, I want to get 2k total and just get my skills up in general before I try and do that. So, onwards and upwards, they say. And here comes a level, magic level 95 magic. Very nice. Heal group access, that's nice and low. And 76 construction accomplished. And 77 construction. Again, there, again, there. And 78 construction. Nice. To get ourselves 81 prayer. Um, had to get some bones, so I managed to get about 50 bones. And uh, quite easily surpassed that uh, 81 prayer there, 1996 total, 4 to go. 4 will get me to seven, uh, 82 construction, so very nice. And 79 construction, <coughs> just 3 more levels ago, not going to go for 83, but 82 will be a good marker, because it will get me 2,000 total. And 80 construction, 2 more levels to go. A nice round number. So we have Dark Altar, the Lunar Altar, the Ancient Altar, Rejuvenation Pool, Obelisk, Toolbox Hedge, Something Portal, Portal. Huh, nice. And 81 <coughs> construction. One more level left till we get. Dun 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 dun. 82 construction, of course. And of course. 2000 total. This is, I'm only six and a half months late, but. we go 82 construction and that means all this gibberish but the most important thing two thousand total yes we've made it oh that long last congratulations You've reached a total level of two thousand. Oh, it looks beautiful, but I'm about to ruin it because I'm going to get 88 herbal shortly. And then we shall 
do a lot of upgrades to our house. So upgrades, upgrades, what ones are we going to do? So firstly I would like to get my fairy ring. Also need to move this around. I need to move my house around to be honest with you. And update this to the big boy one. And uh, yeah, also I want to upgrade my treasure chest. I think I stuck him in here. And um, just in general be able to upgrade loads of different things that I can actually put a lot more stuff in and save a lot of bank space at long last. So exciting times indeed on the character. 88 herb lore has been achieved. Unlocking nothing. Okay, thank you. And there we have it. The beautiful ornate rejuvenation pool. Just got the plus five. Awesome. Awesome. This is how our house is looking. Fairy ring at our disposal as the ornate rejuvenation pool. Actually got it right. And I have it pretty much as close as possible. And now I don't necessarily need this, of course. A bit pointless because I use the bones in the wilderness altar. And uh, this was built way before the altar turned up. Um, so I will probably most likely just shift it somewhere else. So we have used all the totems from our collection, from catacombs, from our slow grind. Ended up with 33 ancient shards and also 6 hard clue scrolls and a master clue scroll. Um, I'm going to do the master last, so we're going to plonk him down there. Um, got the master by basically actually just talking to Watson <laughs> and didn't know I had a master clue scroll ready. Um, did get one elite clue scroll from Scatizo. So I did hand that, as well as an additional hard clue scroll, to Watson again. It's the reason why I went to Watson, to hand off the clue scrolls. So, here we are. Let's open these up with no sound, so don't complain about the sounds. Basic rune, thank you. Ceramic stole, already have, I believe. Basic think I've got. Nice. And we're going to bank all of it. One moment. And lastly, yeah, average. Where we get our first mimic from this muscular scroll? Oh no, we're not. We're going to get those. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. How fucking rare is that? Gilded dehyde vamps. Holy fuck. Eight million it's worth. What the fuck is our luck? Don't say that's the uh, mega rare roll again. Oh, holy fuck. I'm happy it's gilded. Something I got gilded. Shit, that could have been third age possibly. I don't know. What the fuck, man? Killed a D high van braces. That's like my second or third ever unique from a Master Clue Scrolls. That's my eighth Master. Eight million. What the fuck? What the fuck? Wah! Oh, wait a minute, I'm going to have to look this up. Well, give me one moment to see how rare this thing is. Wait, I just checked how rare this thing is. Um, according to the drop sources on uh, Old School Rescape Wiki, this is 1 in 13,616 from a Master Clue Scroll. Holy shit. Holy shit. I just can't believe I've actually got like, that is ridiculously stupidly rare like I don't know how rare the pet is but I bet that is rarer than the fucking pet but as I've got Iris wiki on me I might as well look up how rare it is to get the bloodhound if I can actually spell how rare seriously how fucking stupid this is the chances of guessing the Bloodhound is 1 in 1000. 
This item here that I'm staring at my screen right now is one in 13,000 and 610 did I say? What? So I've got 13 times the chance of getting the Bloodhound pet. Actually gotta be fucking kidding me. Boy, the best pets in game. I get 13 times the chance. What is the Iron Man luck? Like, I did a break from Clue Scroll, but I didn't know that I won't do a Mars Clue Scroll for about six months. And now I do it, and I get that. What the actual buggers. So, this is where we're going to stop with our Master Clue Scroll and something for us to work towards next episode. 85 thieving required. Uh, Morning Ends Part 1 is already completed. Uh, scroll down here. Da, 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 da. One and two are completed. So just need 85 thieving. A bit lacking, but I do need to get that up anyway. So pickpocket and elf. That's probably our next goal next episode. And it gives me something to do and work towards. I will probably do quite a lot of pyramid plunder because I want to get a pharaoh sceptre number two. And then after that I'll probably just do the knights the quickest possible way possible. Um, so at least that'll get me quite a few nice chunky levels out of the way. And uh, other goals I would like to work towards is of course 77 room crafting. I'm lagging behind that as well. Um, probably won't get that next episode but it'd be a nice attempt to try. So I'm just going to bank all that and all that. Apparently we're worth 334 million, that's nice to know. And uh, yeah, that's how we're going to end it. 2,001 total, 129, 000, uh, 129 million experience. So 121 to um, combat, and uh, yeah, not too bad. Obviously, you've got the gilded fan braces as well from our little session at Scotizo. Um, yeah, awesome. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for support. Well, yeah. Cheers and goodbye.